Eden Hazard is playing so well at the moment. Do you think that he's the best player in the world at the moment? Maybe, I don't know. I think that uh, he's uh, for sure one of the best. But uh, I am uh, absolutely convinced that uh, he can improve. If uh, he's able to improve during the training, maybe he will be able to, to use himself at uh, 100%. Because I think that uh, we have seen only the 70, 75, 80% of uh, his potential. So I think that uh, he, if he is able to, to improve, he will be the best in the world. How do you think he can improve? Because when we look at the way he plays... Uh, for example, with uh, more intensity in training. And do you think if he does that, next year he could be voted the best player in the world? I think so. I think so. Is he? How would you compare him to other players that you coached? Is he the best player? No, he is. Uh, he's very difficult, I think, to compare him uh, with another player. He's a genius, I think. Uh, it's very difficult. Uh, he is uh, only on the city. Unique. Looking ahead to tomorrow's game, do you think you have a slight psychological advantage because you won on Wednesday night? No, I, I don't think so. Because tomorrow it will be another match in another competition with a different uh, starting 11. So I think uh, maybe that uh, they can increase the, the, the determination after Wednesday. So it was a, a difficult match uh, on Wednesday and uh, it will be a very difficult match uh, tomorrow. But they are a top level team. Uh, they, they have worked with the same uh, coach uh, for four seasons. I think that uh, they are ready now to win, to win the Premier. And when you look at their history, are you surprised by the fact that a club as big as Liverpool hasn't won the championship for 28 years? Yes, it's very strange. But the important uh, is that uh, <clears throat> now they are ready. When it comes to selecting your team for tomorrow, how difficult will it be to leave out players like Fabregas, Cahill, who played so well on Wednesday night. Will it be very difficult for you? Well, I'm really very happy with the, the with the performance of uh, Fabregas, Cahill. Uh, uh, they played uh, for 90 minutes after a long time, and so I don't know if uh, at the moment they they are ready to to play twice in a week for 90 minutes. But now, after, after Wednesday, I am sure that uh, they will be very useful for us during the season. And so uh, that is very important for me. Tom. Um, when you say that Eden Hazard needs to show more intensity in training, what do you mean by that? He, he prefers playing matches, does he, does he than in training? Oh, of course. But uh, I think that uh, every player prefers to, 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 to play than to, to work without the ball. I mean, it's normal, I think. So he's, he needs to show more, I don't know, more because commitments in training? Uh, just... the, the more, more continuity with the, from the, the, the physical point of view, from the mental point of view, because I think uh, that uh, he has the opportunity to improve more. And uh, we can become the, the, the best player in the world. Uh, 
is a, a genius. Uh, technically, I think is uh, is the best. And, and so I, I want uh, him to be the best in the world. How exciting a challenge is it for you then to be able to take him from 70% to 100% to, to make him into that, that player? Uh, it's a very interesting uh, challenge, I think. Uh, he has uh, so a, a lot uh, to, to give, uh, to give uh, to himself, to give to, uh, to the team, uh, to give uh, to the staff. Uh, and uh, I want everything. They will. How, how different a game? You're expecting a different game tomorrow against Liverpool to the one on Wednesday? Of course, uh, it's another competition uh, with the uh, other starting eleven. Uh, but uh, usually, they play for winning. Uh, usually, uh, we play for winning. So maybe uh, it will be an, an open match, uh, like the, the the last on Wednesday, I think. Gary Cahill said that he might have to leave in January if he doesn't get uh, matches. Um, what, what is your reaction to that? Have you spoken to him at all? I have spoken with him, uh, but I think that uh, there is uh, October, November, December, so I think that uh, he has to wait. And uh, we have to wait. Uh, I repeat, I, I, I was really very, very happy with the performance of Gary. And so now Gary, uh, for me, uh, is very useful. Uh, I don't know. Uh, January is far from now, I think. So we will see in October, November, December. Is Rudiger fit tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yesterday, he had uh, the, the, the training uh, in the second part with the team. So we, we have to, to, to see the last training. I think there is the, 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 the possibility, the chance to, to, to recover. It's possible to have three answers in Italian Voglio chiederle prima cosa, eh, glielo chiedo in inglese per i colleghi, how is going the uh, gr growing pro uh, process of your team compared to the expectations of the last week, of the last uh, summer? I think, uh, what can I say, so far so good, I think. Uh, um, Sì, fino, fino, fino a questo momento molto bene, hanno risposto... So far so good. Hanno risposto alle mie richieste eh, molto più velocemente eh, di quello che mi aspettavo. E sicuramente eh, al momento non, no, non siamo ancora al 100%, abbiamo margini di miglioramento, dobbiamo migliorare eh, sotto tanti punti di vista, compreso l'aspetto tattico. We still Second, uh, you will meet Liverpool for the second time in four days. Uh, you will be the perfect spy for your uh, former club. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I think it's... Uh, it, it, uh, sono situazioni sempre complicate perché gio giocare lo stesso avversario dopo tre giorni è sempre complicato, eh, soprattutto dal punto di vista mentale. Eh, noi abbiamo un calendario complicato, il Liverpool ha un calendario complicato perché eh, dopo la doppia sfida con il Chelsea andrà a Napoli in Champions. Eh, Napoli eh, non è uno stadio semplicissimo e dopo avranno il City, quindi anche, anche per loro la, la, la settimana è importante e delicato. Potrebbe essere lei la, la spia ideale per il Napoli? E penso che, che conosca il Napoli, conosce benissimo il Liverpool. 
nella partita di mercoledì eh, ho visto qualcuno del Napoli <ride> e quindi li, li stanno seguendo e conoscono sicuramente tutto. The last one for me, uh, the, the club before the Wednesday match uh, has spoken very well about you. What do you think about the club? He is one of the best, of course. One of the best coaches in the world at the moment. He has uh, worked very well in the last season with uh, these players. And so, as I said, now I think that uh, they are ready to win. Uh, to win uh, maybe the Premier, maybe the Champions, but uh, they are ready to win uh, something, something important. Okay, last two, Nazar and then Carrie. Maurizio, can I ask you about the rest? Hi, you're right. Can I ask you about the other injured players, Pedro, Christensen, and Loftus Cheek? Uh, Christensen uh, was not injured. He had only a stomach ache uh, during the match, but uh, he is not injured. Uh, Pedro yesterday. Uh, at the last part of the training uh, with the team, like Rudiger and uh, like uh, Loftus. So we need to, to see the last uh, training and then uh, we will decide, I think. Okay. Result quickly because we've got to finish. But uh, we, we, they are uh, almost ready. So the, the situation now is uh, better than uh, three, four days ago. Has that made it hard to rotate because maybe some people would say you've not rotated the team as much as you could have? Maybe, maybe uh, the, 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 the only players, the only player that uh, I had to play and uh, could rest in the last match uh, Maybe it's Kovacic. Okay, last question in this and section. So the, the, the injury of Loftus uh, in the last match was a problem. Um, the success of West Ham last weekend was that they forced you to play most of the game on the right and not on the left. Are you preparing for that? And could you also describe to us what this genius is that Eden Hazard has in detail and if it reminds you of any player in the past. No, no, I, I <coughs> as I said before, he is uh, unique. Um, it's very difficult to, to compare him uh, to another player. Uh, uh, I don't know for, for, for the match uh, with the, uh, the West Ham. I, I think that uh, we can play also on the right side <laughs> because uh, we had uh, William on the right in the, in the match against uh, West Ham and I think that William is another great player. Uh, or we can change uh, the winger. <laughs> we can put uh, uh, then uh, on the right. Uh, for them uh, I think it's the same. Uh, the last uh, uh, the last goal was scored uh, uh, starting uh, on the right side so i think that for us is not uh, a problem to pay to play on the left side or to play on the right side <laughs>